You got that something that can't be seen You got that one thing that's hard to come by It's not your styling, it's not your jeans No, what you got is deeper within And your friends don't even know what you got They just hang with you cause you earn a lot You should lose them all and start hanging with me Cause I'm the only one who can see I don't need your dreamy eyes, your dreamy eyes Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharia Brooks and I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys um, I know it's been a minute since I've made one of these videos and I'm gonna just kind of keep it short and sweet because my camera is dying <clears throat> But it was really weighing heavy on my heart today <sighs> To make a video about this topic um, Because I recently received another email uh, regarding <clears throat> one of my followers who felt touched by my video um my one of my most watched videos ever i don't know how many views that video has gotten but a ton i tell you that on why i didn't abort my kids um and you know just like the struggles of being a single mom so as the title states this is basically um my story on how i <clears throat> like my life now and just to give you guys some encouragement, um, realization that you're not going through it by yourself and um, how to improve your situation. So basically um, what I did and what I'm actively doing, so I've always been the one to work. Like I've always had a job, I've always like tried and applied myself um, always trying to figure out like little business ideas like whatever the case is I've tried it and I'm still actively trying um and one thing I just really want to let you guys know that for one you are not alone um you're not alone when it comes to you know being pregnant if you're pregnant right now being pregnant and single or um, if you had your child and you're single or if you're married got a divorce and now you're single raising your kids First and foremost moms and women out there going through all of this moms to bees or just any women out there who has gone through or going through it right now first and foremost I would suggest is to utilize your resources now When I say utilize your resources what I did to utilize mine was <clears throat> for one I got myself a job if you if jobs are very slim in your area or if your baby is too young for you to go back to work definitely see what programs you may qualify for see if you qualify for free child care there are programs out there girls that will definitely help you um, while you're actively job searching so you can actively job search and at the same time apply for this program and if you're income eligible um, they will like look at your income if you're working or if you're not working and they will send you a list of child cares that are open seven days a week which is awesome if you work in retail or a job that requires you to be there on the weekend there's programs and there's places that will help you find child care seven days a week five days a week many hours of the day um, that's what I did because I was working but I could not afford daycare because let's be honest it's very expensive especially when you're a single parent um, especially if you're a single parent so first and foremost utilize your resources number two like don't feel ashamed if you need to like go to the county and get assistance for the time being now when I say this <clears throat> take it open-mindedly open open-mindedly like if you are struggling and you don't know how you're gonna be able to feed your baby go to the county see if there's any resources they can help you with which is if you they if you have to get food stamps if you have to get cash aid um, if you go there also they have job boards they have um, <clears throat> what else like 
they have um, like helps with interviews, training, stuff like that. So you don't remain in that situation. Um, don't feel too proud to get on those things because it will help you, especially momentarily. Don't get on it and stay on it and just like use that like your one all be all because at the end of the day, that's only gonna take you so far. And if you want more for yourself and more for your child, you will use that to help you get to where you need to be so you can be self-sufficient. Um, and all everything I'm telling you guys right now, I'm speaking from experience. Another thing when it comes to utilizing your resources, now if you belong to a church group or if you don't, try going to you know women's meetings or like look up in your area like <clears throat> churches if you need help paying your rent girl there is some places that will help you pay your rent for like a month or two depending on your situation especially if you're income eligible go on google google will be your best friend in these kind of cases um they'll just like look at your income and they will definitely help you so don't feel like you are going to just lose this battle of trying to raise a child and being by yourself because there are sources out there you just have to look and someday I really hope that I can provide because um, it's really dear to my heart <clears throat> that I really want to have a place to where either like a center or either go to like um, have conferences like single women um, empowerment conferences and you know like <clears throat> host events for free for women like us to go there and feel inspired and empowered and hear about like new opportunities and jobs and you know businesses we can open like stuff like that we need to make readily available because the amount of single mothers that not only reached out to me but I've, that I've known personally has been insane and we need sources like that to go to because sometimes it's just like well dang I don't have friends who are supportive my family aren't supportive I don't know where to turn I don't know where to go like I don't want to be in this situation but I don't have a mentor I need some help all of this stuff costs money because a lot of the conferences that I see like oh supporting women there's always like buy tickets buy tickets but what if you don't have the money to buy tickets like I really would love to be a part of like an organization or something to where women can go and we empower you guys and you get free tools for success and motivational speakers like all of those things come out come and make it readily available to us to keep us inspired empowered and knowing that we can do this you know um <clears throat> another thing i would say is definitely like reach out like if you have a facebook account reach out to like your family members or you know just post on there like hey can somebody watch my kid I have a job interview someone you obviously trust that's also what I did when my son was nine months old I was actively looking for another job that paid me better because at the time I was working at Macy's making minimum wage they cut my hours y'all after I went back from maternity leave and I'm like listen I can't support my kid making this much money like I was living with my parents for a couple months I had moved back in right after I had my baby and I needed money <clears throat> so I would post on Facebook like, hey, is anyone able to watch my son for me for, you know, a few hours? I need to go do a job interview. I need to go follow up on jobs. Like, I really needed help. So one of my best friends who's dear to my heart, she reached out to me. And till this day, like, she's my son's godmom. Her family members have taken them underneath his wing. Like, they're their, he's their grandson. Like, for five years now, they've literally been, like, watching him and, like, throwing him birthday parties and, like, you know, just spending the weekends with them now now i don't even need the help but they're still they're their family now so don't be afraid to like speak up if you need help because you never know who's out there i would have never thought in a million years that her and i would be as close as we are today and that her family would have taken my son underneath their wing like they did and supported me and helped me through that journey and <clears throat> that meant so much to me like you never know what's out there you have to just a closed mouth don't get fed sis let me tell you that right now okay i'm the type of person that does not like to ask for help i'm very independent and i'm like you know what i'll figure it out i'll do it on my own but listen it takes a village to raise a child and when i say that shit, like i mean that and you can't do it all by yourself you cannot you will drive yourself crazy utilize your resources reach out to family members 
Um, also, there's this website called meetup.com, and this is not sponsored. I'm not saying it because, you know, to hope to get any incentives off of, incentives off of it, but there's this website called meetup.com, and there's different categories. <clears throat> there's like, if you type in like yoga meditation, there's like yoga meditation groups in your area, um, single mom groups, there's computer technology groups, there's business meeting groups, like there's a ton of different groups that also you can definitely check out to like meet new people, for one, meet like mommy friends, um, people to like help you along your journey, or just like someone like an ear to hear if you need a new friend, I would definitely like suggest making yourself readily available to stuff like that because you know, just like another person going through the same situation as you, it makes you feel that much more empowered and that much more better about your situation because, hey, if someone's going through it and she's overcome it or she's going getting through it, I can get through it too, you know? Another thing, a lot of women have reached out to me saying, hey, listen, I've your story has touched me, but I don't know if I should child support him. Listen, if he felt the need to Listen to what I'm saying. If he felt the need to leave you when you're pregnant, after you got the baby, during your divorce, I mean, um, after your divorce or whatever, and take and takes zero responsibility for your child, you think I won't say don't child support him? Literally, even if you get $25, do you know how, how much a pack of di a diapers cost? If he can give zero cents about leaving you in your situation with the baby on the way, girl, girl, please, you better utilize your resources and reach out to somebody's county to child support his butt. I'm not even playing. When it comes to my, came to my situation, my son's dad actually took me to court because he thought he wasn't his. So therefore, when the judge read the results and it came back that my son was his, then the judge granted me child support. So look, you never know what, like, what the outcome would be. You know what I mean? In like right now, I'm not getting child support. I'm not getting any type of aid or assistance or anything like that because I work and because at the same time, I don't know what his dad is doing. Last thing I knew, he moved to another state. He can give a damn about him, which that's his business. I don't care. And I'm personally not mad at him. But at the same time, I know I'm providing for my kid and my boyfriend that is, that's with me now, he definitely helps me also. But before he came along, it was all me, honey. One all, be all. So you just gotta figure it out, sis. Like, you have to utilize your resources. My battery's about to die, so I'll be right back. But anyways, so, like I was saying, utilize your resources. Um, and when it comes to like, if you're contemplating on child supporting him, Look at your situation, figure out, did you deserve that? Regardless of your answer, <clears throat> we're not the victim, okay? We're too busy on thinking like, well, he already has kids that he pays child support for, and well, I might not even get any money, or well, this or that. Like, stop making excuses for him. He made that decision to walk out and leave you, or if you left him because of an abusive relationship, or whatever the case may be, you still need to support that child regardless list it takes two to tango i don't give a damn if he didn't want the baby i don't care if you know you got pregnant just to keep him I'm not saying that's the right thing to do but at the same time it takes two to tango and he knew what he was doing so do what you have to do by any means okay look at some training programs look at programs that you feel like you would qualify for look at stuff that you feel like you'd be interested in like i'm currently going through a real estate program that's about four months and you get your real estate license obviously you have to take tests and obviously you have to pay for it but there are private classes out there worldwide that you can take these classes and get your certification get your license on something yeah it's going to take money but take if you're working or if you're receiving aid put a little bit of money aside put a little bit of money aside to pay for that class utilize your resources for the greater good put away money so you can pay for that class and then start taking your butt to that class so you can get certified and bam get yourself out that situation like it is not going to last forever but it takes you to get yourself out of that if you want a better life for yourself and for your family when you guys used to see me post videos i was in my two-bedroom apartment not in the best neighborhoods paying it by myself trying to figure out life by myself but it gets better just like you've seen me going through it I'm still going through it my situation has changed slightly and it's gotten better because I'm proactive good things come to those not who wait because 
yes, waiting is good, you know, giving it to the universe, giving it to God, and letting it go. So therefore, you're waiting, but you put that intention out there, but at the same time, God blesses those who, God blesses those who help themselves. We can't sit around looking for a handout. We can't sit around pouting that we're in our situation. Cry it out, but then wipe your tears and boss up, period, because no one is gonna get it better than you. Look at that baby or rub your belly and realize, look at those kids that you have to support by yourself and realize, listen, they deserve better than this. They didn't ask to be here. Let me boss up and really take care of them and do what I gotta do to make them proud. Break that generational curse of poverty. Break that generational curse of, of <clears throat> lack, of, of depression, of self-doubt. You know, it's okay to go through those things because we're only human, but most importantly, how are we gonna overcome it? Um, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I just really felt compelled to make this video because not only am I going through it and have went through it heavy, one of my best friends is going through it and like I love her dearly. We've been friends over 10 years and like videos like this will definitely help empower her. I know and it's I know if it's going to help empower me, it'll help empower her and anyone else going through this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to comment down below. And if you guys have some resources that you are willing to share to the women watching this video, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below so everyone can be aware of things that they are, um, that I have access to, to get them out of their situation. So guys, let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. If you guys still like these videos, let me know. Um, I didn't want you guys to feel like I wasn't going to make videos like this anymore now that I'm in a relationship. Now the videos are still going to go on. I just try to incorporate different content on my page. But um, if you guys do like these videos, let me know so I can continue to make them. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel because it will definitely help me out a lot. Thanks guys so much for watching again. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.